friend. Got a steak. Steak. Perfect. Good jump. Now, beautiful saltwater barrel. So it's crocodile right beneath me here that slid into the water. Today, guys, we Strick and friends. And before we became the castaways, this is how it all started. Hope you enjoy it. Literally travelled a thousand miles. Oh, yes! Look at the size of it! Welcome back to another episode. We're out here on the Great Barrier Reef and Fran has hooked a massive fish. Hopefully it's a Spanish mackerel. Whoa! <laughs> yes, Fran. We've got no gaff, so we're just gonna have to tail it, which is always the hardest part with a big mackerel. The big fish, there he is on the surface here. Awesome bloke, we're having champagne on the beach with him tonight. And we promised him some fish, so. Um, yeah, and he's got some steak for us, so we're gonna swap him. Beautiful Spanish mackerel for some steaks. How cool. Ah, uh, there she is, we've made it back uh, to dry land just before lunchtime. It's pretty windy and miserable out there, so we didn't have much footage for you, but this was the highlight of the morning big Spanish mackerel. A newly made mate, Mal, on the Yacht out the front here said that he does want a bit of Spanish mackerel, so um, I'm gonna knock this fillet off this for him and exchange it for a couple of steaks. You wanna try and dry the eggs? Eat the rope? Yeah. Yeah, dry them in salt. Alright. We had the guys in Samoa and we're in the Samoa tour, friend. They yeah. just eat this and just pull it out and just eat it like that. And I was trying to like fit in because I was like, oh yeah, I was born in Samoa, I can do that as well. And just tried to eat it and it was like, it puked around. <laughs> oh, it tasted like a fish smoothie. It was so gross, like a rotten fish smoothie. This is one of the perks about a rough, dodgy filleting job. You've got all this beautiful meat. That's the perfect size for our ceviche lunch. Salt in the eggs, eh? Yeah. Quite a bit of salt on them. How long do you reckon we'll leave them for a day? A couple of days. A couple of days. I think so. Right. Never done it before. Very trial and error this whole salting of the eggs, but um, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully it turns out. It's so cool. Everyone we've met that's been sort of doing the yacht life are so, so friendly to us. You know, it's like the best currency for people that have been out at sea for a while is a cold drink. So he's bringing in cold champagne and, um, and red meat. Final touches of Spanish mackerel sashimi. Gonna have that around the fire with a couple of sundowners tonight. And there was, he's a bit camera shy, there was a little white tip reef shark swimming around here somewhere. So we've just noticed that this is the first time we've had visitors to our campsite in two months and we're both very nervous. Uh, Fran's been running around all afternoon like doing the gardening, like cleaning up the outskirts of the trees and putting away coconut husks and this kind of thing. So um, we've got a little bit of wine to offer them. We've got some coconut. We've tried to clean up the campsite. We're gonna have to kick the fire off there. It's gonna be good. We've got some sashimi. Mal's bringing some champagne and cheese, so it's gonna be a good evening. Got tonight, Fran. Got steak. Steak. I actually killed a goat <laughs> on the island. We're very excited about this steak from our mate Mel and salad. I've never been so excited for some greens in my life. Steak, salad, and we do have some corn in the slow cooker in the fire here. Woohoo! So we're trying to find about 24 hours is as long as we can keep our fillets with no ice. Um, after that, it's best to cook it. So this is the the rest of that Spanish mackerel that's made it overnight. We're just cooking it up for the brekkie this morning. This will be our brekkie lunch today. We've got a super low tide today, as you can see, with 
salty bingo high and dry for a little while. Um, but that is good for one thing, collecting oysters. So we're gonna go for a bit of a walk around the rocks here, around to the next point, and see if we can find some oysters. So we're collecting a few. The way I like doing them is on the fire and actually smoking them open. Gives them a good smoky flavor. But you gotta take a couple to have fresh as well. Like that. Delicious. So good. Throw them in. Good job. Hey, yum, thank you. Fry them off. Oh, we're gonna have to have a fresh, are we? Oh, look at that one, though. Mmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Big juicy one. Just underneath this rock here, there's a, a little stingray hiding. You can see his two barbs coming off. So this here is his tail. And then those two things up there are his barbs. See those two barbs? Pretty cool. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Good job. Let's go get some crayfish. But yeah, that's a whopper. That is a jumbo cray. Have a go at his legs there, wrapping around the body. <laughs> Huge, and each one of these legs is gonna be like a whole meal of meat. So good. But this crayfish, we're not actually gonna get to eat him. We're gonna swap him for a couple of steaks from a mate, Mal. So um, that's his kayak in here on the beach. He's gone for a little walk, and we're just gonna leave this under his seat, and he's gonna bring in some steaks later. So that's so cool. Whew. Leave him in there for our mate Mal. He's gonna get the best surprise when he comes back to his kayak. Now I do like grabbing them, I do enjoy grabbing them, but we're allowed to take a spear gun in Queensland, so I do take a spear gun in in case they're really deep like that one. What you wanna look for, you see if their tail is curled up underneath themselves, it means they're carrying eggs. But that, um, that big daddy long leg cray there, I could see he was all spread out, so he was fair game. That's, um, that's why the spear gun came into action there. But for now, we've got some Spanish mackerel cooked this morning. Ready to go, it's time to eat. Uh oh. Have to go around this one. Ooh. Oysters are getting their revenge on me now. Check out the sun poking its head down into the horizon. I might try the old zoom on this camera. So we're gonna do the craze. The best way, I'm sure you guys have seen this before now. Cut the crayfish in half, butterfly it open, and then you can load it up with garlic, butter, and cook it sunny side up on the fire so all the juices stay in. Let's do it. Mm. Probably in there. And bon appetit. Here is maybe, maybe my favorite meal that we've prepared on tour. So here we go. Big crayfish there and garlic butter. We've got the cray tail with onion sweet potato fries. But check out him, the star of the show. Fresh as it gets.
today. Lunch is served. Got some coconut meat and that crayfish done in garlic butter on the fire. Last few days we've been seeing pig tracks all around the boat. Finally um, been waiting here a couple of days and we've seen him. Check this out. I zoom in. Just trying to stalk a bit closer. Like. Yep. Bit of a bummer. Just shows their whole defense mechanism from against predators is, is their smell, their scent is so good. See he's coming here, he had a bit of a dig around. And he's headed on down that way. So what's happening here is very, very cool. There's this big body of water behind us here that holds water, but it all runs out at low tide. So this kind of waterfall down there and at the bottom is um, the larger predators waiting for any prawns or, or mullet to get washed down and they're going to buff them and Fran's getting it right in the strike zone there. Oh, something had to go at it, Fran. Oh, something swiped today. Yeah, friend. Oh, it's a Queensland grouper. I've never caught one of these. Whoa, how cool is that? <laughs> I thought it was a barrel because it's really young. That's awesome. Good catch. I've always wanted to catch one of them. Baby Queensland grouper. We just caught and released a beautiful juvenile Queensland grouper. Bright yellow tail and fins is so cool. But we do have to be on super high alert because there's a croc slide, as you can see, just on the bank. There. You get a hit? Barrow? Francis had a big hit here. I just started filming. I missed the whole, the oh, whole show. The whole yeah. All right. T oh. Tell us true. It jumped off in the shallows there. I did basically what you're not meant to do and went and jumped on the barra in the croc country. But we got a fish. This is the fish we've driven like a thousand miles in the boat for and 10,000 cast. They've been our bogey fish, but we finally got one. Oh my God. Yes, friend. How cool was that? We're eating well tonight. That's amazing. I've hooked a smaller one. Woohoo! Look at him jumping. Come on, mate. Come on up the beach. Phew! <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! How was that hit, Fred? 
Yeah, 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 I've got him. Here he comes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Fire, how the heck was that? Boofed it off the top and then launch. I've never seen one jump so high. Jumped up on the beach. Yes! There we are. Beautiful saltwater barramundi caught on a popper. Oh, wait, wait. It's filming. Yeah, but it's dirty. There we are, beautiful saltwater barra, caught on that top water popper. That was one of the coolest things. All right, I'll get him back in the water. The stars aligned and we, uh, we finally caught some fish and we very much needed to, because this guy is, um, is our dinner. Um, we got one sweet potato to throw with him, but yeah, we were, we were really relying on some fish, so. Sweet, let's get back to camp, Brown. See, the sun's gonna set shortly. Fran's on fire duties, so she's getting that set up. Um, and I'm gonna go down and fill it our dinner. Big barramundi. Crocs are able to smell uh, where you've been filleting, and yeah, you don't want to entice them around the campsite. So I've come right around the corner, the next bay over. I'm gonna fill it up on. Looks like one of these rocks should be all right to fill it on, and then hopefully get back for for a sunset drink and fish and chips on the fire. There we go, two beautiful fillets of barramundi. All right, we've got pretty well organized tonight. We've got breadcrumb fish, onions, almost ready to go in the pan. But this is pretty cool what we've done here. So we've got our main fire going, keeping that going. And then for the side, we've got a coal boat. Flip that pan for a sec, friend. So there we are, that's our cooking fire. We've got our main fire going. We're just gonna keep topping that up. How's it looking, friend? Perfect. Sorry for blinding you. Barramundi crumbed on the fire. Sweet potato, chips, and onion. A bit of salt and pepper, and away you go. Yes, Fred! Oh, shit! You got one! It's a big boy! At night time too. <laughs> we were cutting the golden bomber. Golden bomber. With the torch on. And I thought I snuck my lure. <laughs> and then this came out. Wow. Oh. Awesome fish. Well done, Fran. Thank you. You earned you that fish. There he goes. <laughs> oh, those, he's going to go get those mullets. Potentially a, a very cool bottle. A bottle with a message in it that's so old that it's kind of just disintegrated. But see how it's on the the inside of the bottle. And then Fran's got an old Nautilus shell up under the shade here. What's this? What have we got here? What do you reckon it is? Someone used to live here and someone used to really like big black lip oysters. Man, there's some big ones. shut off to the ocean we've uh, snuck up on it and as it was coming in it's a good sized crocodile right beneath me here that slid into the water nice beautiful big 
Blackley Boyster. There we go. The size of these Blackley Boysters. I'm just collecting a feed and they take a few back and smoke them tonight. But that one fresh off the rocks. Ooh, that's so good. Nice work. Oh, beautiful fish. Get him up. Oh, he's jumping. Hey, good job. Nice barra. Yes. Guess we got around there. Yeah, throw him from there so you don't get too close. In five minutes, Fran's caught one and then two other bigger ones if um, she's hooked and jumped off. So we're in a prime little spot. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, yes. Yes, first cast. Yes. Oh, Fran, they must just be stacked up there where you, where you said they were. All right. I've just cast, oh man, cool jump. I've just cast right to where Fran said she'd um, had a bit of action and bang, straight away. This little fella's jumped on. Beautiful saltwater barramundi at the mouth of this creek. Let this fella go. You don't want to get too close to the edge here because there's big crocodiles. He's off. Oh, good jump. Oi, good jump. You're gonna make him get eaten by a crocodile. Jump for me, fishy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's a cute little barramundi. 